the real deal. Oh, All right. Um, <laughs> All right. They, they did From England, say, London to be specific. Um, www.sixman.com if you want to check out any of the stuff we do here. At any rate, um, I had a chance to meet some great new people last night. I stayed up way too late. Um, having Just having fun here in London. And, and a friend of mine named Chris allowed me to stay at his place. So thanks, Chris. And um, long story short, I had a great conversation really late at night last night. We all went out to dinner at a time when most people should be asleep. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about a lot of different things, but respect is kind of what came to my mind as something that was, I don't know, maybe a, a talking point or a kind of a point of emphasis that I thought we could spend some time with on this video, maybe just take a couple of minutes. And so um, I was pretty impressed with how just last night went, went, despite the fact that I'm an American from out of town and, and I have some religious views that are different than some of the people that I was spending time with last night. But I just asked if I could interview a few people or a couple people and ask them how they felt about how our conversation went last night and so it's not polished it's not rehearsed and i'm just going to ask them a couple of questions so to my left is michael and uh, michael how did you feel about the entire evening and maybe i'll start with when, when the fact that your roommate invited me to come stay at your place and he got out of town uh, left it to us alone it's a big move for him to trust you and me, I guess. But we had a good time, I think. You know, it's talked a long, long time, for four hours. And I think I agree with you. The respect that you brought up, it's not that we really agree, perhaps, on loads of things, but there was a fruitful and enjoyable conversation where no one was, uh, no one was put upon, no one felt. And I really, yeah, I really enjoyed and appreciated that. It was a good time that we spent together. It's good. I appreciate that. And is there, would you say there's any barrier between, you know, you know, say people from the UK and Americans. I mean, the fact that the fact that I was an American have any negative bearing on our interaction, or, or potentially, you know, before you really knew. I think that that definitely it didn't have any. Maybe the job like it came down to it. Kind of conversation to men and talking about you know things which we obviously have thought about before. But I think there's a little perception perhaps that there are perhaps people of a certain ilk in your country who would have a very firm view of these things and it wouldn't be so much a conversation as a, an ear bashing and that absolutely wasn't the case so that was a real delight to, uh, to be part of. I don't know if that was what you were asking. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I was asking because I think that one of the things I try to communicate to young people and, and to myself is for us to be reminded that if you're not interested in having a conversation, you can't expect a person to listen to you. So, um, that's why I ask, because I think the perception oftentimes is that, you know, uh, Americans come off as a bit, um, just a bit cross, you know? and maybe it's not just us, maybe it's not just America, maybe a lot of people in the world kind of come off as, as uh, really having an agenda when they talk to people, and I thought it was refreshing that that didn't seem to be the case, and, you know, and uh, so I appreciate that. There seemed to be a genuine, like, uh, understanding or, you know, that kind of tacit agreement that we uh, both approached the conversation. <laughs> this is London town, so uh, that we both approached the conversation wanting to be changed and, you know, actually wanted to hear what the other person had to say, not just spending the quiet time that we weren't speaking, thinking of what was next going to come out of our mouths, regardless of what we said. <laughs> I think that was quite nice, you know. It perhaps made the conversation even longer because we had to think, but, you know, it was made it also much more enjoyable. Than really. I don't know. That's my perception. Yeah, definitely. And so, um, I want to shift gears to another individual. And uh, this, this, this young man... Switch out. Uh, let's switch out. Let's do it differently. <laughs> switch, you're going to switch off? Perfect. But don't disappear because, you know, you might want to have some more input. This is James. That's uh, favorite, favorite color is blue. Yeah. Uh, I like to treat people by wearing pink instead. <laughs> He's a regular treat himself. Um, <laughs> And no, uh, but seriously, James, like, how did you feel just about our evening last night? I mean, we, we went out to a place and, and listened to some comedy, and, um, I mean, did you guys even know that I was a really religious chap before the night began? I, I didn't, I, I kind of, I, I think I, I kind of knew, because Chris had mentioned a little bit about it, but I didn't, uh, 
realise how much of it was of your kind of own volition. Like you had a very, very defined understanding in your head of how things are. Because sometimes I think in my experience, I see a lot of people that have those kind of beliefs and they're just kind of inherited and, and, and brought on from their parents, but they don't have a specific understanding of themselves. But you, I learned over the course of the night that you really understand it in your own way and you have a very personal understanding. Which I thought was really interesting because I think as a we're quite an introverted nation. We don't normally talk about those things that much. We don't really speak about them that much. But actually, speaking with someone who did have the, um, the desire to talk about it a lot more meant that we were quite keen to talk up as well. And I think that was quite a nice mixing of kind of cultures that was going to work. Yeah, that's what I enjoyed the most. Just, like you said, the mix of culture and, uh, and you know being able to kind of appreciate each other for the personality that they naturally brought yeah. to the environment to the. Uh, to the venue that we were spending time at, you know, there was, so there's not, you know, this pre pretense and this, this, uh, having a good time. Was yeah. good. No, I like that. I even told them that last night. I said, you know what I like about England is, is that you guys don't care. Like, you just, face value, you know, no pretense. It is what it is, you know. Nothing you can do about it. She's coming through. But, um, but anyway, I mean, I, I just appreciated that last night and I think, uh, I don't know. I didn't feel like anyone left offended. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah. And that's not to say that you can't have conviction. That's not what I'm saying. But respect, I think, is about um, appreciating and validating the perspectives that other people have because people's viewpoints have not been formed. Um, most of them have not been formed overnight. There's been years of work in the trenches developing one's worldview, whether it's through experiences or inheriting some of those viewpoints from parents and church. And, or not, whatever, school, whatever, political, political uh, exposure. And when you come to the, when you have an opportunity to interact with some new people like I did last night, um, you know, I feel like I gained friends. Yeah. Regardless of whether or not we agree on everything, I felt like there was a genuine respect there, and I yeah. think that that's necessary. And I feel, I, feel, I find that in America, that's missing. Do you feel that that is something that is, is not missing here in the country? I think perhaps it takes a spark of someone different who doesn't. We'd have probably gone to that evening and had a few laughs and gone out for some dinner. We yeah. never talked about anything. Exactly. It scratched the surface level. And I think that's part of you know, your gift and you know, just your personality. You know, you're know, good laugh, it's good fun, there's no judgment, but there is the depth of what we're talking about. We wouldn't have done that, I don't think. It's about how much you listen as well. I don't know how much listening there is in the States. From what I've seen, I don't know, but I think having a new person come over with a new culture forces you to listen because you're interested and then you kind of learn a lot about that. Because, I don't know, I think when you're used to people around you and your, and your kind of culture, you probably think everyone's got very, very clear views and if someone says, I'm a, I'm a whatever, you have a view of what that means, but when someone comes from a slightly different culture, views that you think you understand and then you have to listen to how they're different. That's quite interesting. And I know I had to like consciously make that choice to actually continue to listen with open ears and not, and not and, and just not read into the conversation, you know, like you know, I, I oh I know what he's gonna say already. I didn't know it. I had no idea really what you guys were gonna say when I asked certain questions or when you guys asked me questions and I responded. That was what was kinda of fun about it. I didn't know what the reaction would be. And I'm sure you did. Anyway, yeah. ended up being fun. So I appreciate you guys taking the time Pleasure. to be on uh, the first ever six-man blog interview. Uh, and <laughs> hopefully, it's, it's, it's very special to me. Uh, and I said I wasn't going to cry today. We're available as seventh and eighth man if you want. Seventh yeah. and eighth man, right here. Um, or as they, <laughs> this is soccer town, football. So maybe we should change this to the twelfth man <laughs> instead of talking about it. Be about it. You know. No, anyway, it's not setting and uh, it's, a cold. it's a bit cold. It's a bit cold. Nice. I'm done talking to you guys, sixman.com. We'll see you back stateside at the end of this week. We've got NBC camp coming up. Yeah, we'll